will there ever be a reunion special? I will say that Clarissa is, there is some talk about Clarissa, so we'll see mm -hmm. which way that, that goes, but I think Sabrina, no. No. I don't think so. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Where do you think Clarissa would be in her life right now? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I never think beyond 18. Um, well, she always wanted to be a journalist, and uh, I don't know, there's a book out there, actually. Yeah. The writer wrote a book last year called um, Things I Can't Explain, which goes on to tell you about Clarissa Older, so you guys mm -hmm. can go get that. I love that. Who is Sabrina's favorite aunt? <laughs> Are you kidding? They would, like, literally, if I had to pick one, they would come track me down and try to kill me. So, um, I think that she had a lot of fun with Aunt Hilda. I think mm -hmm. Aunt Hilda was always the fun one, obviously. And I think Aunt Zelda was the one she went to for Emotional problems, advice, advice yeah. mm -hmm. you know, comfort, that kind of thing. Right. So, you know, you kind of need both. That's what that's what they're there for, right? right? Who was your favorite on-screen boyfriend? Um, well, you have to read my book. Melissa <laughs> explains it all to get the answer to that one because there's like a chapter about on-screen kisses. Mm -hmm. um, oh, gosh, I uh, probably Adrian Grenier. Yeah. He was the most fun. We had a blast together on Drive Me Crazy. And, um, and he's a good kisser. <laughs> um, second runner-up would probably be like Balthazar Getty. We, uh -huh. we did a pilot together called Dirt Bags and had a lot of fun. Um, you know, and then, yeah, of course I've had, I've had great. Right. I've had James Vanderbeek and Joey Lawrence mm -hmm. and Mario oh, Lopez and now, now Dean Cain's added to the list. <laughs> like, yeah, I have um, Jesse Metcalf in the movie we did last year, God's uh -huh. Not Dead 2, just came out on DVD. Um, yeah, so I have had some cuties. I'm jealous. But they're all big divas too, so. Are they? You know. I like the kind of guy that can get his hands dirty. So. I love it. What is your biggest 90s fashion mistake? <laughs> I didn't make fashion mistakes. <laughs> what? Uh, I mean, uh, in person, I mean, not like on camera, obviously, because I had people to guide me in that way. Yeah. Um, Back then, you know, we didn't really, I didn't use a stylist mm -hmm. for any of these red cards. And I would love to go to premieres. I just wanted to go see movies and I wanted to be with all the stars of the movies. Yeah. And, you know, so I'd always go to premieres and I'd, I'd you know, it was, if it wasn't my movie, I didn't dress up for it. So sure. half the time you'll see me in like corduroys with some frumpy coat on, <laughs> but some like corset underneath and some bizarre, I don't know. So um, I definitely was a little too like schlumpy, like trying, you know, I always wanted to be casual and comfortable. Right. And uh, I definitely didn't play it up like a, like the, like the ladies these days do. Right. Pick your 90s heartthrob. Jonathan Taylor Thomas, Johnny Depp, and Leonardo DiCaprio. Hello. Johnny Depp. I know. A crybaby. Mm -hmm. um, I, my sister thinks Jump that. Street. <laughs> yeah, but like uh, Edward Scissorhands. Mm -hmm. uh, like my sister, when Pirates of the Caribbean came out, she thought that she discovered Johnny. She's, she's 20 <laughs> years younger than me. But I, she thought she discovered Johnny Depp. She's like, you got to see this actor. He's so cute. And she was like 10 years old. And so I had her, her birthday party that year. I was like, you can come over, have a slumber party at my house. And I had a screening room. And I was like, I will show you some Johnny Depp. Right. You, don't, you know don't know Johnny Depp. You don't know Johnny Depp like I know Johnny Depp. 